Hello and welcome to the Snowcast, today with Juliet Dyke and Abby Lee. And coming up in the programme this week, the UK snow sports industry gets together in team for some midsummer madness, there's a great turnout for the Sasfe ride, and we talk to Shemi Alcott about her gruelling climb up Mount Kilimanjaro. Now, Lizzie isn't with us this week because she was in fact in teen last weekend for a spot of ski racing and some networking, and she brought us this report. Hi, we're in Teen for the Snow Sports Summer Weekend of 2008, and as you can see, the weather is amazing. The racing started early, the snow was great, and there was a good team spirit on the mountain. However, it wasn't all about the skiing. So this is the second time the ski club have joined up with natives during the snow sports summer weekend. The aim of the weekend is to get people from all over the snow sports industry together in the mountains and basically to do skiing, racing, activities and talk about next season and get to know each other a bit better so we can deliver even better ski holidays all round. The loop bar was the place to share stories from the day and to get to know each other outside the office environment. Why was it so good? Because uh, it was good fun, it, was, it wasn't just serious, like mixed up, the fun element with a serious element. Yes, I very much enjoyed the weekend, it's been fantastic. Um, done lots of things and um, lots of skiing and lots of drinking and lots of meeting cool people. It's not been like really a spare minute, you know, that's been the thing. It's like, it's, uh, when I was at school I don't think my hours were as closely determined as they have been at the, at the summer weekend. And everyone was pleased to see the Ski TV crew there especially as they're all such big fans. Wow, well, it looks like we have quite a following. I'm really pleased. And you were there too, weren't you? Um, yes, I was there. It was really good fun. Um, we had to get up very early in the morning, actually, because of glacier skiing early, and we had to do some serious racing. But it paid off because Carrie from the marketing department came second in the female skiers, and I managed a second place as well for the snowboarders. Oh, wow, that's brilliant. Well done. Thank you very much. And you were doing a bit of filming, weren't you? I was um, making a film about summer skiing and what other activities you can do in a resort over the summer months. So that'll be out on Ski TV very soon. Excellent. Looking forward to that. Now, uh, 57 riders turned out for the Zasfe ride on July the 19th, uh, which managed to go ahead despite some bad weather threatening to close the glacier. The skies eventually cleared, allowing the riders to session on the purpose-built kicker. The UK's Paddy Graham put in a great performance, scoring high for technicality and style. But in the end, it was Sweden's Henrik Haulaut who won the men's event for the third year running. In the women's, Belgium's Katrin Eyert took the title with an amazing 360 double Japan. Can you elaborate on a double Japan, please? Yes. Well, I asked the ski club's information manager, Al Morgan, this morning what it was, and he showed it to me. Um, and what you do is you're rotating 360 uh, in the air and at the same time crossing your skis and grabbing the ends like that. So it's pretty hard. Want to, want to see one of them next season from me, then? <laughs> I'll give it a go. I'm not promising yeah. anything. OK. Well, now on to a very good skier, Shemi Alcott, who is normally known for going down mountains, not climbing up them. But in early June, she set out with another skier, US downhiller Julia Mancuso, to reach the highest point in Africa and raise money for children's charity Right to Play. Shemi told us that she suffered from altitude sickness and nearly lost all hope of reaching the summit. But the thought of letting down her sponsors and the charity spurred her on and she made it to the 5,895 metre peak after five days. To read the full interview with Shemi, go to the news section of skiclub.co.uk. And now for the snow news. Well, uh, the general picture across Europe is that it's fairly changeable depending on which country you're in. Some resorts are very sunny and some resorts are very stormy and bringing a lot of wet weather in. So have a look at the local report wherever you're heading to. Um, across most of the Austrian resorts, it's cloudy weather except for Hinterturx where they've got bright sunshine and 15 kilometres of piece open. Uh, in France, Val d'Isère has now closed for the summer skiing season, but the Deux Alpes and Tien are both open with sunny skies. In Switzerland, Sasfe is also closed today because of wet weather, but Zermatt is open, but they're predicting more storms to come in over the weekend, so it, you know, it could be closed depending on the weather. And in Italy, the Prisana Glacier has now closed, but Savinia and Trevinia and Val Sinalis are open uh, with a mixture of sun and showers. And across in North America, Whistler has now closed for the summer ski season, but Timberline is still going strong. Of all the North American resorts that we report on, that's the one that's open. Brilliant. As always, good old Timberline. And moving to the southern hemisphere, now the general outlook across all of our 
resorts that we report on is snow. Lots of snow falling, which is great news. Starting off in Australia, uh, the most recent snowfall happened at Mount Buller. They've now got 122 centimetres on top. And it's set to snow this weekend at Falls Creek because they've had a drop in temperatures, which is great news. And moving to New Zealand, wintry storms all around across all the resorts in New Zealand at the moment, which means there is going to be a lot of snow, so potentially a lot of powder riding to be had. And 45 centimetres has fallen at many resorts, including Mount Dobson and Mount Hutt. There is also more to come. So once the windy weather does fall down a bit, then it's going to be fantastic conditions over there. And moving across to South America, starting off in Chile. Again, lots of snow. It's fallen very recently and more is going to come this weekend as well. It does mean that there's some fantastic conditions across the three valleys and especially in the other resort of Portillo. It's superb, some brilliant pockets of powder riding to be had. And finally in Argentina, there has been snow falling all week. So once again, fantastic. Um, Chapelco has fresh powder everywhere, a nice good 10 centimetres of fresh stuff to ski on. And it's very cold and very snowy, so do make sure you wrap up warm. Excellent news about the snow, yes. always good to hear. Now on Ski TV this week, summer is the perfect time to try new sports and develop new passions. Check out the new Nike sweet spot from Norwegian kayaker Marion Sather. It might just inspire you to take up the paddle. Definitely what attracts a lot of kayakers too is just the vibe you get on the Nile. I mean, during the day you go and you run either some really, really big ass rapid or you go and you play boat and it's definitely just like a very international scene. Another week, another snowcast is over. So until next week, keep looking at the Ski Club website for all the latest news and events. And until then, we'll see you next week. Goodbye. <laughs>